Where are you going? Let me give you a rundown of what is going on here. You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. So, it is 4.45. Significantly dark out. We're headed to work. I'll fill you guys in. Well, we are on the road. So, my plan was to actually go to this farm this morning. Um, if you watch previous videos, you'll know what farm I'm at. And then I got one other farm that I was planning on going to today. Um, we're just sped up. So, based on logging in and looking at it, it's just got a sensor bad. And milk truck was coming anyways. So, my coworker who actually answered the call because I was asleep, gave me a call and he said, I need a hand with this. And so I logged in and I said, yep, definitely either the sensor or the resistor is bad. Um, just based on what it's saying so we're gonna go up change the sensor then we're gonna keep going north a little bit got a control valve to do that's been a little sluggish and then from there we will uh well it's friday yeah buddy doesn't really mean much but it's friday um so but we'll dive into the, we're gonna go change the sensor out well i'll diagnose it make sure it is that and then we'll change the sensor out and I'll show you how it all goes down. So a milk truck actually just came here. It's their own personal milk truck. Where are you going? Let me give you a rundown of what is going on here. Clean valve right here. Ready? So when there's no air, the light should be on. So as you see, no air. Sensor light is off, which means In this box here, which is, let's see, do, 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 wash valve here. That's all tied together. So that's the actual solenoid, that or the control valve that actually opens it. And as you know, we got air pressure. Sometimes that's an issue if the air uh, compressor actually is off. But we just gotta trace it back so it's A, it's this valve here, A2. That's the actual control valve, and it is clearly not lit up on there, so it's definitely in the sensor wire. So we just gotta pull a new sensor wire. What are you doing? <laughs> here we go. New sensor. Usually they come with the resistor in the bag. Um, Resistor is a must for these sensors because uh, the variance of them So that pulls it down to the right Right level otherwise you get some funky things. So that flathead screwdriver J block terminal because I do something a little different on the other side and we just got to take it apart so Go over here And they they got a reed field so as you see there's no light at all. So that's gonna run up, go through that conduit, go out through the back wall. So no one all is also handy. Oh light. So I appreciate everybody that used the link in the description because uh, it's directly tied to uh, an account that I got with O light. So very handy. Go check it out. Everybody who's actually looked at it has absolutely loved it. Now that I got it all pulled through. We just gotta follow that line over to here, then up, and then in. I think it's one of these. One of these. So we'll pull it up, get it switched. I got the power unplugged up here, and this block. Where was it? Right here. Wrong. There it is. 
plug it back in. I don't think the robot's washed, but it's flashing like they washed it. It looks like it. Got that all fixed up. Just waiting on it to finish up washing. Fix the leak on the chemical pump. Clean the floor. Just gonna watch the sunrise. Spot. Then we'll, uh, once it goes back milking, then we'll continue on. I got another stop this morning. Nothing too crazy. Probably be pretty quick in, a, in and out, but yeah. Figured I'd show you a little of what I do for a day job fixing stuff like that so as we see a2 that's lit up it's happy we'll come over here this is a good milk valve from the master robot which allows milk into the tank the clean valve light is on which means it is shut because the air is not on it so there's air on here allowing milk to come down and actually go in we got it good to go second stop of the day not a bad one at all always good people I love the farms that I work with so a lot of good people that I work with uh, day to day and throughout the year um, when I used to work for deal of valve I'd travel and I'd visit farms and then I'd be like okay do this do that this is how I would run it and then I'd leave and then I wouldn't see the farm for six months to a year depending on how many farms dealership what my schedule was so that always was annoying now I get to see all my farms and check up and see what's going on with them and talk and whatnot so we're up here in New Hampshire now and we're headed back so just about 11 o'clock granted we've been well we woke up at four something so what a good day is day's worth of work in so far and I guess we're well I'm hungry we ain't we haven't ate breakfast. Yanko's eyeing a flock of turkeys down there. Hey. You can't eat them. They're way down there on the street. Alrighty. Probably going to stop, get some something to eat quick, and see where we get into. Appreciate you guys watching along. Guess you're going to have to stay tuned for the next video, see what we actually get into. What we get back into wrenching, farming, where we're going, what the deal is. I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good one.